Now, one of the reasons I'm standing out here today, and I've talked about this before, you know, I understand politics, and I've been in the world of politics for close to three decades, but I resent what is going on in my party, the scare tactics that are going on to make people feel that Bob Turner is the boogeyman, the code words that are being thrown out there that Bob Turner is going to take my mother's Social Security and Medicare away from her. That is the new tactic, in spite of the fact that Bob Turner has been crystal clear with regard to that. In fact, the President of the United States is now a member of the Tea Party. Last night's speech, he actually said, we have to reform Medicare to strengthen it. That's what the President of the United States said last night. He said in his own words, that there won't be Medicare and other benefits for my children and your children and your grandchildren unless we address the issue of Medicare. This is the position of Bob Turner. This is the position of many Democrats. And for the other side to scare older people, senior citizens, is outrageous. And I ask them to stop it. And let me tell you something else. The height of irresponsibility the height of desperation on the part of the other side. This was an ad that ran this morning still on Good Morning America. This is an ad that ran to undermine Bob Turner. It is right before September 11th. Is this sick? Is this nuts? Who is running their operation to use an airplane and buildings? right before September 11th. It is the most irresponsible, despicable behavior right before September 11th. And let me tell you, as a New Yorker, as a Democrat, I'm calling on the other side, whoever's responsible for this disgrace, not just to remove it from, from, from you know, as commercials, but I'm asking for an apology to New Yorkers. It is chutzpah, it is ultimate audacity. Look at this right before September 11th? What is this supposed to symbolize? Are they out of their freaking minds? So, the people in, within this community, within the 9th Congressional District, which I live in, and my children, my wife, and they are bigger supporters of you, Bob, than I am. I mean, they were the ones who were urging me for weeks, you gotta do the right thing and support Bob Turner. So I am delighted to push for Bob Turner to continue until the very last moment at 8.59 on Tuesday evening. The polls look good, but the election is not over. This should be even greater determination. Boy, what a message. The country is watching Brooklyn and Queens like never before. And if Obama won't talk to you directly, you can talk to Barack Obama directly on Tuesday by voting for Bob Turner.